What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching. Today's video is all about a extremely quick scalp that we took on the MES the other day. What you're about to see is this trade. We enter into this trade, we go long, almost off of a three point turn. Those Gorilla Futures members will know exactly what a three point turn is, how we trade it, why we trade it, uh, and pretty much all the ins and outs. But we go long and then we almost instantaneously have our take profit target hit. Now these type of trades don't happen all the time, even though they are some of my favorite trades because I love to be in and out of trades within a minute, maybe even seconds. And what you're gonna see here is we enter into this trade and then almost immediately we are closed out. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But before we do, be sure to comment down below, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date for all of our videos because we release a video every single Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. And as always, if you need some more information about the three-point turn, trading futures, how to find trades, trends, and so much more, hit that link top right-hand corner, become a Gorilla Futures member, and get access to all this information and all the perks of being a Gorilla Futures member. Now, enough housekeeping. Let's take a look at that trade and see what we can learn from it. What's going on traders? Looks like we could be getting a long entry right here. Uh, so price is moving down. We have a little bit of a gap down from our previous close. Uh, and it looks like this could, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this could potentially turn into a higher low. Uh, and then maybe we can come up here and start to target this uh, low of yesterday. So we've got about 430, 300 so ticks. Uh, left if this closes relatively close to where it is right now uh, definitely be looking for a long we've got about a hundred ninety sixty thirteen gotta jump in here order real submitted. quick order filled and there we go so we did get a fill sorry I didn't have the lines up um, uh, beforehand that is my bad do apologize for that uh, but we can see that we did get in there we got filled at 81 flat uh, we are looking for four points right here. Uh, as always, got a little bit of a negative risk reward, and that is just steamrolling. And we got filled just like that. So before I could even uh, explain that trade, uh, we did end up getting a fill for four points uh, right there. So let me kind of walk you through, uh, walk you through that trade a little bit more, and we can see prices clearly just steamrolling up. So. Uh, we got lucky on that one. That does not happen every single time. Uh, honestly, I wish it would happen every single time because I like to be in and out of my trades, um, but it doesn't. So let me walk you through uh, kind of what happened. So price has been moving down, came down here, made a lower low, ran up into resistance uh, near our New York open, and then we came down here and made a lower high. Uh, once we made this lower high, or once... Honestly, once we started right here and we started slowly going sideways, uh, it felt like price could kind of start moving up. Um, overall, on the larger time frames, monthly, weekly, daily, uh, and pretty much for the past year or so, we've been in a pretty much bullish, uh, bullish environment. So looking for longs, um, in my eyes, is normally a little safer than shorts. Uh, but again, that's just my personal opinion. So uh, from there, we did get a little bit of a pullback that made a higher low. Nice three candle setup right here, one down, two consolidate, one up, uh, and then price just pretty much shot straight up. Uh, I'm glad I did get a fill on that. Excuse me, I'm glad I did get a fill where I did uh, because I honestly probably wouldn't have gotten into that trade. And ideally what I'm going to look for next is I'd like to see price shoot up above this low yesterday, come back, make a lower high in between 90 and pretty much low 80s uh, and then just look for that stair step pattern um, pretty much all all the way up to all-time highs or something like that uh, so that is kind of the rundown again I do apologize that that video was extremely quick um, but as always if you have any questions feel free to comment down below hit that button top right hand corner if you would like to be a Gorilla Futures member and learn some more information about why I specifically took that entry, uh, what I was looking at, how I read market structure, how we look at trends, uh, top-down analysis, and all of that. So as always, uh, thanks for watching the video. Comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and good luck.